There are two spring tests um, and the one that we're looking at at the moment is the one that we do at the lumbosacral junction, i.e. where L5 and sacrum meet. So to find that, what we need to do is we need to find the PSISs, which on Richard are here. If we go across and then up a bit, you'll just feel there, that's the transverse processes. So the lumbar sacral junction is here. And this test tests the, again, it's a bit of an all encompassing one. It tests the sacrotuberous ligaments, the anterior and posterior sacroiliac ligaments, and the interosseous ligaments. And it also tests for whether the sacrum is either mutated or countermutated. And all we're doing is we're looking for resistance. If we put the heel of our hand on that lumbar sacral junction, give it a quick push, and it should spring. It should resist us. Now, Richard, he has got a bit of a problem because there's not a lot of spring there. Um, so, but you should feel that springiness in that lumbar sacral junction. That's why it's called spring test. So the spring test, lumbar sacral junction, and it's to test the sacrotuberous ligament, anterior and posterior sacroiliac ligaments, and the interosseous sacro sacroiliac ligaments, and also for counter and mutate, counter mutation and mutation of the sacrum.